In the original VoiceOver Masterclass course, we had a section on tongue twisters and various warm-up exercises, which I hope you do every day or before every, every big session, because it is so important to do that. Get that mouth working, get those shoulders relaxed, all that kind of stuff, right? We'll take that as read. But advanced tongue twisters are very, very useful to do. They help to improve your diction and your clarity and just basically exercise more of those very complex muscles all around your mouth, your throat and your vocal cords. So let's do some tongue twisters right now. I don't want you to rush them when you do them. Obviously, just pause the video and just do as much as you can on each one and then start the video again after each one. Don't rush and make sure that you pronounce the ends of your words correctly. So I would suggest that you record these as well and play them back. And uh, you should, in a week or two of do doing these every day, really improve your diction if diction is an issue for yourself. Let's have a go. So here's our first tongue twister. And it's one that not only will test your abilities to uh, get your mouth, teeth and tongue around these words as fast as possible. But uh, this first one particularly will test your sibilance. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. To help you cope with these tongue twisters, if you understand what you're saying, which is what you should be doing as a good voiceover anyway, it does help you not to trip up because you're thinking, I wish, you imagine yourself in a shop somewhere and you're giving your wristwatch over the counter. I wish to wash because it's dirty. Imagine dirt all over it. My Irish wristwatch. So there's a wristwatch that's got a Made in Ireland sticker on it. So if you just imagine those things and you're imagining yourself in that situation, it somehow makes it easier to say, I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. So stop the media now and have a go yourself. OK, the next one is a longer one. This is a very traditional one for the P sound. And this will test not uh, only your dexterity, but also your pop filter. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? OK, pause the media and off you go. Right, here's the third one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Again, try to understand what it's meant to be saying. It's not just nonsense syllables. And if you understand, and you can picture in your head what the heck's going on in each of these things, it really does help to speak these things at a decent pace without tripping up and keeping that all-important clarity. Here's a short one, but this one is a stinker. She sells seashells by the seashore. Now, that's easy to do with the old glottal stop between, but to run it together is kind of hard. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. OK, stop the video. Off you go. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Have a go at that one. This next one tests the E sound. Near and ear, a nearer ear, a nearly eerie ear. Near and ear, a nearer ear, a nearly eerie ear. Near and ear, a nearer ear, a nearly eerie ear. Off you go. Nine nice night nurses nursing nightly. Nine nice night nurses nursing lightly. Thin sticks, thick bricks, thin sticks, thick bricks, thin sticks, thick bricks. Lesser leather, never weathered wetter, weather better. Lesser leather, never weathered wetter, weather better. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. I think we all know this one, but how are you at it? Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. If a dog choose shoes, whose shoes does he choose? If a dog choose shoes, whose shoes does he choose? If a dog choose shoes, whose shoes does he choose? Well, I hope you found all that useful.